here. We are currently on our way to Better Way in Toledo, Washington to pick up the dump truck. Uh, yeah, I'm super, super pumped. Um, why do I call it the dump truck? The pavement pounder, that's what I'm gonna call it. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on, the pavement pounder. We're going to pick up the pavement pounder. Toledo, Washington. It's like 75 miles from where we're at right now. So we got, uh, what was it, an hour and a half drive until we get there. Yeah, hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're just gonna have some butt time all the way there. gonna cost a lot of money guys getting the truck back uh, basically what these guys did for us was is <laughs> they took the box off they took the cylinder off and the lower cylinder mount off they also cut one of the hinges um, and now what they're doing is is they're putting it back together with a new ram right and uh, new pins and hinges, I'm assuming, and uh, all that jazz. I think the bill is going to be around five to six thousand bucks, so that's a lot of money right there for me. Uh, one thing I want to I want to stress is, you know, this is one of the most exciting things we have done as a family, I think. What, what do you think, honey? It's pretty crazy. Um, it, it's costing us a lot of money, you know, but I have faith that, you know, once we get rolling, like everybody says, once the wheels start turning, the money starts rolling in, you know, and it makes it worth it, you know what I mean? And so, like, uh, if you're planning on doing a dump truck business, just know uh, if you're gonna do it kind of like I'm doing it, like buy a beat up truck or, you know, yeah, uh, it's really tough, guys. You know, you're gonna struggle a lot. You gotta work as many hours you can at your full-time job, to, and you gotta save every single penny. I mean, we, we, so, I'm just gonna throw out some round numbers for you guys to kind of understand, kind of, like, what our lifestyle is like what we have done to save the kind of money, right? That we have needed to do this, you know? And uh, by no means are we experts, but uh, I feel like we are pretty dang good at saving money. So on to the numbers kind of side of things. Uh, basically, you know, my wife, she works her butt off harder than anybody at, uh, at home. She's a stay at home mom. And uh, I, you know, I go out and drive tanker truck, uh, 105,000 pounds, um, 105, 105.5, that's what we call it in Washington. Uh, basically, it's 105,500 pounds is the limit. Anyways, like 11,300 gallons of gas, 9,800 gallons of diesel, you know, 10,300 gallons of jet fuel or uh, ethanol. Uh, that's pretty much the stuff that we haul, guys. And, and uh, I bring home net. Now, this is after health insurance and after everything gets taken out of my 401k and everything. On average, I would say I bring home around uh, 4000 to 4500 right? And I, I'll be honest. I've had some good months where I worked my tail off and I just... I was uh, a truck hoe, you know. I uh, I lived in the truck, you know what I mean. And I've there's you know a few months where I, you know, I worked 20 hours of overtime every single week, you know, uh, the whole year basically is what I've pretty much done. Um, uh, yeah, there was one month I had like 106 hours of overtime that month. 
Um, anyways, that was a pretty big check. We we brought home was like five or six thousand that month. Yeah, five thousand. Five thousand. But like the the gross would have been like seven <laughs> or something like that, you know. But uh, the you know Uncle Sam took you know a grand out, and health insurance takes a grand out. And you know my 401k takes a few, few hundred bucks out, you know. So uh, basically, four thousand bucks is kind of what we budget on. Like that's the low. Like if I don't make four grand, I need to go talk to my boss. Say, hey, dude, what is going on here? Like, are you having trouble finding work? Or you know, kind of the, kind of pressuring him into giving me more work so I can make more hours. I don't ever beg for raises. That's not who I am. I ask for more work so I can make more hours. I don't want free money, guys. You know, I've always been a firm believer that you need to work for what you have in order to feel, uh, you know, accomplished. Anyways, so four grand a month. And then some of you guys have seen my other videos and know that we uh, live in our duplex. Uh, our mortgage is around 2,000 bucks a month. Right, the tenants pay eleven seventy five, and we pay eight twenty five, basically. Um, so we budget three thousand dollars out of every single check, gone, bills, everything, you know. And out of that three thousand dollars, we pay our two thousand dollar mortgage, and the thousand dollars that's left over pays all of our bills, guys. Like, we don't have any car payments. We, you know, we pay 80 bucks a month for a cell phone bill. Uh, we budget, and this is like serious budgeting, guys. We have on paper, you know. Well, not recently, because we've got it down so pat, we know what we can basically spend. Uh, we budget 150 bucks for, uh, you know, groceries. And that includes diapers and wipes and you know dog food. Uh, it's basically a hundred bucks for food, and then the fifty goes for uh, toiletries and that kind of stuff. And then we budget a hundred fifty bucks for fuel, you know, for getting to work and back. And on the fuel side of things, sometimes we go over, you know, like with all these trips we've been doing down to Toledo and to Auburn to drop the truck off, pick the truck up. We've, you know, we've went over that a few times, probably like up to like, what, 250? Probably is the most we've spent. Probably. Yeah. And then, you know, I got life insurance. That's 70 bucks for me, 20 bucks for my wife. And then we got, uh, what else? Do I take it right here? Left. Can remember? <laughs> it's been a while. Right? Left here? I don't know. Where? No, I think we're going the right way. I don't even remember turning onto that street. Uh, I'm like in the video like my body's on autopilot right now um, what was I saying where was I oh yeah your insurance 20 bucks mine 70 uh, car insurance for us is like what 160 no 120 120 yeah 120 120 uh, college we put 50 bucks a month into the kids college fund what else? I think that's it. That's it, guys. That's all we have for bills. Um, 160 for uh, the phone bill, but we only pay 80. My grandparents pay 80 because we got four lines on our phone bill. Two, one for me, one for my wife, and then one for my grandpa and one for my grandma. They just pay us because they are horrible at paying bills on time. So, you know... And in order to get a cheaper rate, we went into it together. Basically, that's how that worked. Um, look at this guy. Pulling out in front of 50 mile an hour traffic. Anyways, yeah, so there's that. Um, so basically, every single month, we can save like around $2,000, right? 
Like that's kind of our goal is to save 2000 bucks a month. And I only get paid once a month, guys. So, you know, when you get paid once a month, you really got to be on top of the budgeting thing. You got to know where your money's going, where it's at, you know, who's asking for money, who's giving you money, you know. You got to be on top of everything. You got to watch every single penny, right? And uh yeah, so kind of our goal is to save, you know, 2000 bucks a month. You know, that's basically what we do on average, I would say. But, you know, we have other things that come up like property tax. That's, uh, you can pay it one lump sum or twice a year. Uh, this year we're going to do uh, twice because I want to hold off on giving the government my money so I don't have to pay. So they're not making interest off of my money. I get to keep my money longer, you know. Not a lot longer, but you know, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, things like that. Uh, I'm missing anything. Like tabs. Oh yeah, That's tabs. Like twice a year. Uh, whenever that kind of stuff happens, I work a few extra hours at work, and you know, we have a little buffer in our checking account. You know, probably like I don't know, two, three hundred bucks or something like that. Just so, you know, if something strange comes up, it doesn't, you know, put us into overdraft. You know, we will never be in o into overdraft, you know. And, uh, yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, 25 bucks a week for groceries. You know, we eat Top Ramen. We eat macaroni and cheese, pasta roni, mashed potatoes, uh, rice, beans, hot dogs, eggs, milk, butter, bread, uh, some different types of soups. You can get at Winco pretty cheap. That's pretty much what we buy for groceries. And we've got it down, like, to a science. Like, we really do. We've got it down pat, you know. And uh, that's what saves us a lot of money is our groceries. Like, we do not eat steak. We do not eat a lot of meat. Uh, we don't eat, uh, oh yeah, we do we eat pancakes. Those are pretty cheap. Uh, we don't buy a lot of cereal. It's really expensive for what you get. Uh, you know, um, what we call it is we call it a uh, gazelle intense. That's kind of what Dave Ramsey says. You know, he says it's gazelle intense, you know. Uh, basically, what we did was, you know, we, we went from, you know, living on kind of credit cards. We, we always paid our credit cards off every month, but we finally decided that was not the life we wanted to live. So we turned our lives around, you know, and read some Dave Ramsey stuff. And, uh... I'm gonna have to check that comment later. Uh, got a comment on one of the YouTube videos. Is that a place? Oh, no. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much... We turned our lives around, guys, and we decided that... We didn't want to live the average lifestyle like everybody else, always in debt, always working, you know, never getting anywhere in life. So, mainly, I decided I didn't want to be a slave to somebody anymore. You know, every single company I've worked for, you know, I felt like I was making somebody else rich, but I wasn't ever getting there. You know what I mean? That's kind of the reason why... I decided to, uh, you know, look for something different. And my grandpa had given me a dump truck, what, two years ago, three years ago? No, it's been a while. It's, it's been a while. Uh, it's just a like a five-yard dump truck. Very small. I mean, it's, it's big, but it's you can't haul any weight because it only has one axle in the back. It doesn't have a tandem or nothing like that, so... You can only haul five yards legally unless you're using it for farm equipment or, you know, on a farm. And then you can, you know, do some more stuff with it. But, yeah, he gave it to me because he saw that I was taking an interest in it. And I was, 
you know, I put in about 500 bucks worth of work on the thing, and he, you know, saw that I wanted to learn, and I was willing to work with him on it, so he gave it to me. And I see, I say give, but really I earned it, you know. He saw that I earned it, so he, you know, gave it to me. And uh, that's when I first got my first interest in kind of scene. I did a job for one of my friends. Uh, she bought this mobile home and it was just total tweaker house, hoarder house, you know, just tons of garbage and stuff. Anyways, we brought it over to her house, parked it in her yard. She filled it up and I took it to the dump and made 200 bucks, you know, which was pretty freaking awesome for me because, you know, I, you know, that was a lot of money for me. Anyways, so that's kind of how I got into the dump truck scene, how I wanted a dump truck. And then, uh, then, you know, so I had the interest to get into dump trucking, right? And, you know, uh, yeah, so that's how I gained my interest. And then I started, like, researching. Like, I typed into Google, you know, how to start a dump truck business I came up on this one website and uh, the website was probably I don't know five ten years old or something like that but it made it sound so easy to start a dump truck business like it literally just said oh yeah save you know ten fifteen thousand bucks buy a dump truck get your CDL and voila you know get insurance voila you're done you know there's your dump truck business that's how easy it is basically you know uh, and it was definitely dated because uh, that's really not how easy it is. There's lots of paperwork, lots of rules and regulations, so many rules and regulations, uh, you know, that I'm just learning every single day more and more and more. Um, but, yeah, you know. button guys pound the subscribe button check out the patreon account uh you know a dollar a month or whatever you guys want to help out with if you can that'd be awesome uh but uh definitely stay tuned for more dump truck videos more black beast videos uh yeah um